In another fight that took place in Tokyo, Japan today, Ryoichi Taguchi manages to successfully defend his WBA Light Flyweight Championship versus Robert Barrera. Um, really good f uh, performance from Taguchi. Uh, wasn't quite um, the way that I initially saw it, uh, spe especially considering the fact that um, Barrera had fought a very close fight against Carlos Canizales. Um, I thought that Taguchi was very, very uh, fortunate to have gotten the decision, or actually to have um, gotten the draw, <laughs> the split draw, uh, split decision draw against uh, Carlos Canizales back when they fought this past New Year's. Um, Taguchi looked, looked a bit flat in that fight, and Canizales um, really kind of showed out. And to me, that, 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 was a bit, that was a bit of a drawish fight, but if anybody deserved to win, it was probably Canizales. Um, so I expected a pretty tough test uh, for, for Taguchi here from Barrera, but uh, Taguchi just showed out. I mean, he definitely looked um, just better prepared, and even though Barrera had some of certain moments where he was able to somewhat outbox Taguchi, there were just way too many moments where Taguchi was able to close the distance, um, crowd Barrera, and uh, pin him up against the ropes especially, and just uh, just completely demolish him from the, the mid-range to the inside range. And, uh, you know, the inside to the mid-range is pretty much Taguchi's game. You know, if, if there's going to be a lot of punches being thrown, Taguchi is usually going to be the one that's that's coming out the winner in those exchanges. Really, like, the, the way to beat him is to try to keep him at, like, more one shot at a time and to kind of keep moving on him, you know, in, in order to get him to reset his feet. Because when he's able to get his feet planted, um, his hand skills are definitely very impressive. You know, some of, one of the better... Uh, perfor offensive performers at the lower weight classes especially and um, I mean Taguchi just did a damn good job uh, the only round I gave to Barrera was the third um, first two uh, I thought that Barrera had certain moments but overall Taguchi was able to kind of close the distance cut off the ring for the most part um, pin Barrera up against the ropes and it seemed like at first Barrera was looking to kind of um, try and trade on the inside with Taguchi but once that stopped working especially in the third round uh, Barrera started sticking and moving a lot more and I thought he had a lot more success in that round doing that so that's the round that I wound up giving it to him um, I thought the fourth could have potentially gone Barrera's way as well but um, Taguchi was able to land some definitely uh, more pronounced shots towards the end of that round in order to kind of uh, clinch that one for himself and then pretty much from the fifth round to the seventh round it was uh, it was the name of the game was Barrera trying to kind of um, outbox Taguchi with the short steps um, at mid-range but Taguchi was always uh, pretty consistently able to cut off the distance and just kind of pound away at Barrera to the body, to the head, you know, mixing it up really nicely, mixing up the combinations, the punch variety really nicely, and just slowly breaking him down all the way up until the eighth round where Barrera was pretty much hanging on for dear life as Taguchi was able to close the distance and just pound away at him. Um, you know, Barrera is a fairly tricky guy for the most part. I mean, he's, he's normally able to kind of switch stances on guys, show him different looks and everything, but... Um, South power orthodox, it wasn't working out for him here in this fight. And finally, uh, about 20, I think 25 seconds or so into the ninth round, the referee wound up calling a halt to it. Um, at that point, Barrera was way down on the on points. Um, the only hope he had of winning the fight was basically by knockout. Pretty sure the ref probably knew that because Taguchi had pretty much dominated the entirety of the fight. And at that point, it was just getting worse for Barrera. He was just kind of taking an extended beatdown from, from Taguchi. And this may very well set up um, the, the kind of much-hyped, uh, much-talked-about uh, unification fight at light flyweight between Ryoichi Taguchi and Kosei Tanaka, the WBO um, light flyweight world champion. Um, I'm really hoping that this fight winds up happening uh, you know, before this year is out. I'm not sure if it'll wind up coming on New Year's or if it might come before that. I mean, New Year's is definitely, you know, a, a fair bit away. So I'd imagine that these two may um, may wind up scrapping it out uh, by October or November. Um, the, the only thing that, that possibly stands in the way is the fact that um, Rere Chitaguchi is a TV Tokyo fighter. Um, uh, Kosei Tanaka is a CBC slash TBS fighter. Um, so those are rival networks over in Japan. You know, not quite as bad as like a like a Showtime versus HBO, but you know the, that's definitely a, a kink that needs to be worked out of um, the entirety of the of the situation in order uh, for this fight to happen. Of course, um, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them winds up actually getting the live rights and then the other one tape delays it or vice versa. Um, or who knows? Maybe they'll they'll both uh, broadcast um, some of it live and maybe they'll each have a certain amount of fighters that they normally have exclusive rights to on the undercard, something of that sort. Um, 
you know, maybe even uh, Hiroto uh, Kyoguchi, who was also on this card, um, somewhere on the undercard there, since he is also a uh, TV Tokyo fighter along with uh, Taguchi. Um, but that fight is a very intriguing one. I'm not sure if the winner would actually become the lineal, you know, Ring Magazine champion. You can take a look at their ratings real quick. Uh, you know, it's possible. It's possible. Um, uh, Ring Magazine has Pedro Guevara ranked at number one. Kosei Tanaka ranked at number two. And Nirei Chitaguchi ranked at number three. Interestingly enough, uh, Guevara doesn't even have a, a title, but yet he's ranked number one. Um, I think that largely owes to, owes to the fact that, I mean, he definitely has the most, one or the, probably the second most impressive win in the division um, outside of Milan Melindos, considering that Melindo just knocked out Akira Yagashi in a round, whereas um, Guevara took him on, I think it was in about eight rounds. Um, but he lost his title, for the most part, undeservingly against uh, Yuki Mura, and since then he's um, went on a pretty good tear. I mean, he, de I, I wouldn't necessarily argue with him being uh, the best fighter in the division. Um, and I do know that in certain instances, number two versus number three, will fill the lineal slash ring uh, magazine vacancy as the champion. So uh, this fight could very well be for the, the lineal championship between these two. Um, be the first time in a little while since uh, since that title has actually been held. I'm not, I think the last fighter that might have held it might have been uh, Ivan Calderon or uh, Giovanni Segura um, years and years ago. I think, I think, yeah, I think Segura might have been the last guy to, to have held it uh, way back in... I'm trying to think when he vacated that and moved up to flyweight. I think that was around 2010 or so, somewhere around there. Um, but in any case, uh, really good fight between these two. Um, uh, I would favor Kosei Tanaka because I do think that he has, he's a little bit more versatile than Taguchi. You know, he, he has the ability to kind of stick and move on Taguchi. He, he might be able to kind of outbox him. Um, but on the inside, I mean... Which tends to be with the, the the favored style of uh, Tanaki. He, he tends to favor being more like on the inside and trying to bang it out with you. But I'm not sure if um, that's necessarily going to be the the best choice for him strategically against Taguchi. I, I think that he might do a little bit better to to kind of stick and move on on Taguchi because I think he is quicker on his feet, quicker with his hands. Um, but once Taguchi gets going, you know, um, I think that in an extended kind of exchanges that Taguchi would actually hold the edge there. Um, that said, like I kind of hinted at before, um, I would favor Tanaka. I think that uh, Tanaka may very well be the most talented fighter in this division. You know, um, Ta has talked about when Tal's in five different weight classes. I think, uh, you know, he's definitely shooting for the stars. I'm not sure if he'd be able to necessarily do that. But I wouldn't be entirely surprised if he managed to pull off at least, um, you know, three or four. <laughs> maybe not five, but, uh, you know, maybe three or four. Um, you know, trying to kind of outdo the likes of a of a of a Nai Inoue and um, a um, I'm forgetting his name now. Uh, the uh, the flyweight champion, the um, the, uh, the the uh, WBA flyweight champion, Kazuto Yoka, Kazuto Yoka. Um, but uh, fantastic win for Ryoichi Taguchi, um, proving that you know he's he's not necessarily weight drained, making 108 still. Um, still very viable at the weight, uh, most certainly, as he showed here against Barrera. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have think that a drained version of him would have uh, put on this good of a performance. Um, as usual, you know, uh, I'm definitely going to drop a link for the video of this fight. Um, fun, you know, I mean, fun performance for, for Taguchi. Wasn't um, especially competitive. Uh, Barrera definitely tried. I mean, he bloodied uh, Taguchi's nose in the second and third round. So, I mean, at least you could say that for him. Uh, but Taguchi definitely just showed his class, just showed his class and caliber in this fight. Um, very similar to the way he did uh, back when he fought the likes of uh, Juan Jose Landeta. Uh, very, reminds me very much of, of that fight. Um, classic performance from Taguchi. Um, hopefully the fight with, uh, with Tanaka gets made. And you know, if, if that fight doesn't get made, I really want to see a rematch against Carlos Canizales. You know, I think Canizales definitely deserves a rematch. Um, interestingly enough, he's actually ranked third in the WBA. Of course, uh, Barrera was ranked first. He was the mandatory for this uh, for the uh, this WBA title that Taguchi holds. Um, I know Surian Saturn is uh, from Thailand is the ranked slightly higher than Carlos Canizales, so he may potentially stand in the way of that um, if the Tanaka fight doesn't get made, since Saturn is actually the, uh, the highest ranked fighter. 
um, for the WBA. And then he the fourth ranked guy right behind Carnazales, Heki Butler, is actually going to be challenging the, um, for the IBF lightweight fight light flyweight title coming up against Melindo. Um, stay tuned for a preview video that I'm going to do on that. Very intriguing fight as well. Um, you know, former strawweight champion taking on a current light flyweight champion in a matchup that I think is very, very intriguing, you know, considering the, the styles uh, between those two. But um, as for Taguchi for versus Barrera, um, Taguchi did, had a fantastic performance. Uh, back to the drawing board for Barrera. Um, you know, definitely has some, some things to learn. On this, um, and uh, hopefully the uh, Taguchi versus Tanaka or the Taguchi versus Kanazales two fights happen. Uh, one of those two fights is a very very good fight, um, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I I think that you know they're amongst the champions, they're definitely um, the top two. Um, Milan Melindo, even though he had a very explosive win over Akira Yagashi, I'm still uh, not entirely sold on him at you know at as the the best of the best you know the best of the champions at 108 pounds um we'll see how he does against heki butler and then kenshiro i think um was somewhat fortunate to get the decision over uh ganiga lopez um in winning his wbc title so um i think he might be the uh the, the weak link of the four champions but um you know that's that's a that's a pretty hell of a strong weak link i mean amongst the four champions i do think that light flyweight is a is a pretty uh packed division i mean you got pedro Guevara, ganiga lopez um, Carlos Canazales, Hecky Butler out there, um, Falan Sacrivin still out there. Um, he would recently drop the close decision to Milan Melindo. Uh, some some solid uh, fighters amongst them, and then um, even Christopher Rosales, if if he happens to drop back down to 108, um, who you know he recently dropped the uh, really was a well truly was a competitive decision against Andrew Selby, but the judges for whatever reason didn't see that that see it that way. I thought that he actually deserved to edge that one for a for a. Uh, flyweight uh, title ranking match but um, that's going to do it for this uh, video and I will catch you guys on the next one peace